Yo, hey, I haven't made a video in a little while, but, um, there's a collaboration on if you, if you want to try it. Sorry about the volume, it's really loud. I'm a it's an, it's new collab music. I'm playing the stage Beastly Roost. It's a deadly Enigma stage. If you haven't heard of Enigma stages, once you clear Urun Wolf stage, aka the Great Escaper, and you actually unlock Urun Wolf, then it allows you to find Enigma stages. Those Enigma stages can give you rewards, like this one. This is a complete waste of time. Because all it gives you when you win is either one, two, or three cat tickets, and I don't need cat tickets. Actually, sometimes I do. Although, the chances of that are not high. Just, at the beginning, it's just a dumb little rhinoceros, and it actually, it might be a slightly stronger one. Because it is actually tearing through, like, everything I have. Um, uh-oh. These things can tear actually very easily if you don't have any critical hitters. Then, um, it could be very hard. Like this. Uh-oh. Well, I'm dead because of that dumb little rhinoceros there. I want to show you what the boss is after you kill the rhinoceros. I'm not going to use my cat food because I, uh, am saving that for later. But, uh, for now... Just please like and subscribe, and, well, eventually I might do more content, like Among Us, maybe. I might do an Among Us video soon. Also, once in Among Us, I've seen two reds. That's right, I've seen two reds once in a game of Among Us. So what you want to do at the beginning is just stall this alien dog, which is actually quite hard to do because he, deal he deals a lot of damage. Uh, this, these alien dogs are similar to the alien dogs in, okay, well, that went very well. These alien dogs are similar to the alien dogs in, um, Government Watchdog, which is the stage I'm currently stuck on. This is the boss right here. It is literally ridiculous. That's right, that pig, it, oh, also, this is, uh, a very weird enemy in, in between. It's... Croconator. See that little metal crocodile thing? That's Mr. Croconator. He is an annoying enemy, and I don't really like him. He's spammed out, like, nonstop. The boss is a super metal hippo, which I can actually one-shot. How? I'm just... I just can. Okay? Just don't... Don't blame me. I'm just kind of... I'm kind of good. I'm kind of bad. These things deal 900 damage to Croconators. Um, also, I have a new, a new unit. Uh, his name is Little Dark Emperor Catdom. Also, that's ridiculous. So, um, what you, what you might actually, like, want to do, the stage is half alien, half metal. The metal enemies could be very annoying, such as this dumb little hippo right here. He could get very annoying. This pig, he could also get very annoying. A lot of times he could get very annoying. He t he just tears through, like, every single thing I send out. Also, there are alien crocodiles, but I don't see that mattering at, of anything, right? They actually deal a lot of damage, though, so it... They might be a slight threat. Just, like, this stage is literally, like, insanely hard. Um... There is the collaboration. I've already cleared all those. Uh, I really want to be into the future chapter 3. But I'm probably not going to be able to do that for a little while. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, actually. And I'm going to actually try to try to do that. This, this stage that I'm on is very, like, extremely intense. And it is insane, and therefore I really hate it. There are two extremely difficult enemies lined with, like, even more difficult enemies. So, for now, I'm just, like, changing my loadout. Um, so, uh... 
I'll probably want to use something that is actually, like, okay range, or, like... Okay, you know what? You're good health against aliens. You can slow aliens. You deal a ton of damage against aliens. You slow alien. Do not... Stop. Just stop. You knock back. You freeze. You just... You know, I'm not really sure. I'm just gonna put in a random Uber. I am an Uber carry dumb, dumb idiot, by the way. I'm going to shove... You. I'll see, I'll, I'll see if you can do anything good. I got my first Uber to level 40, by the way. This is the stage I'm stuck on. This is honestly just ridiculous. I, the calamari, and the, the calamari and the bear are, are the, like the only hard enemies in this. Um, wait a minute. I need to do something. I got my gaming headset on. I got it for Christmas. What did you guys get for Christmas? What is your guys' favorite present that you got for Christmas? Also, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy Holidays. I uh, I might record a lot more. I'm probably going to record like, like 50,000 times more. Not 50,000, but I'm probably going to record a lot more. Why is there an otter here? Nobody knows. Honestly, I have no idea. Also, yes, there are otters in Into the Future Chapter 3, but only, like, two that I know of. Machu Picchu and now this. Bahamut does, like, way too much damage. I love it. Ah, oh, that bear does, too. That bear does a ton of damage. Um, I have Mr. I have infinite health against aliens, and I have Mr. Uh, I deal way too much damage, and Mr. I slow aliens way too much. That guy is insanely good. His attack is similar to Bahamut's, except weaker. Although against aliens, is overpowered. Uh, Grifolo is dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Move everything back. Why did I spend my cat food on that other stage? Why didn't I actually spend it on this stage? This stage is ridiculous. Why? Why? Why is it so hard? Ganesha. Ganesha completely did nothing. Ganesha just spawned, and then I got killed by the bear and the calamari. All right. See if I can beat this. See if I can move away from that very quickly. All right, what the, what the, what the heck am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to, like... Just scream, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, a story of the legend thing? This music is so loud. I like it, but it's also sometimes annoying. I have a lot of four-star stages. Wait, what's in Bamboo Island? What the heck is in here? Prickly Field, Bamboo Coast, Serial Killer Jungle, Disgusting Swamp. Dumpy Cave, Stardust Street, Mushroom Cliff, Frontiers. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. This is something I do want to, however, do. Why don't I do this? I don't know. Why don't I actually do that? And you know who's actually good for this? Wait. Uh, he was... His name is Iron Claw X. He's extreme health, so I'll just shove him there. Almost as an Uber, but... Okay, there's that. Hot Bath Brock. Uh, this stage is extremely easy. Yeah. This is honestly just a really easy stage for me. The camel is just easy. Even though he one-shots something... Even though he one-shot something. Uh, do I care? No. As long as he can hit the camel, then I'm fine with him doing a lot of damage. I mean the camel. Iron Claw X, at least he should hit the camel. This camel does at least like 15,000 damage to the base. Probably like 16 to 20,000. And because he has like the base, the more damage against your base... 
thing that could that could he doesn't that that doesn't really matter as long as you could just like keep keep summoning things so you don't have to speed up i honestly don't care the stage is probably the easiest not just because there is a camel that exists it's just because there's barely anything else oh he's actually killing things now that that's a problem that's actually quite a problem He's actually murdering, like, a pretty dang good amount of stuff. You should probably knock him back next hit, and that's going to be he very helpful. Oh, yep, there you go, knocking his face out. And dying again. Honestly, this part is just, like, honestly just stall until this camel dies. There's not much else to do. If there were time rewards, I'd probably get really low, because... Or at least on this three-star mode. The final boss is actually, like, quite easy, yet it calls it, yet the game calls it expert. It's really funny how they do that. This is when the other enemies start spawning. The pig, the penguin, and the hippo. The hippo is honestly just real easy. Like, he, he could get one-shotted. Maybe three-shotted. No one cares. Not even me. The camel might deal a pretty good amount of damage. This is just like the story of the legend thing I'm on now. If I progress through this stage, I meet Berserkory, Red Koala. And then the next stage after that, he's there too, except there's three of them. This is right after you meet the, the camel. Like Camel. His name this guy's name is Camel. Uh, in some stages, he actually he's actually quite hard. Only in some stages, though. In most other stages, he's real easy. Um, the hippo and the other stuff is eventually going to be very bothering. Like just now, he he wasted Iron Claw's attack. All I need for this is Iron Claw X and Meat Shields, aka these little tiny dudes. That's why I even bring them. Also, next video, uh, spoiler alert for my channel, is probably going to be the Battle Cats movie that I've been waiting to do for a while. It's not going to be too exciting, it's just going to be me playing for like half an hour straight. Oh, and the camel's gone, perfect. And you're just going to murder this thing, boop. Alright, I win, just... Let me just... Iron Claw X is, like, way too much damage. I love it. He just... Bro, you deserve them muscles. I got feathers, and that's it. Gentle Geyser. Um, This is literally... I know what I'm going to use a cat... One of my cat jobs that I have if I somehow make it to the last level without losing all of my... It starts off similar to the Crazed Lizard or Manic King Dragon. Except in those stages, the mods are buffed. In this case, well, I'm pretty sure they're not buffed. But that's just a quick feeling. Also, why is he the boss? I have seen him before. Boom. He just thinks he can murder me, that's it. He, he, he thinks he can... He can kill off my meat shield, and maybe Paris. Oh? Are you doing good, actually? You're actually killing some stuff. These mods in the background are actually quite annoying. Oh, I just killed, like, 50. I had to do it. I honestly just had to do it, and what I did was a very good thing. I didn't. I don't even know what I did. I was about to die, though. That's all I know. And he's about to die. He about to die, baby. Kronos is very helpful, even if the freeze is for, like, 0 0.1 second. Even the freeze is, like, very short. The Bun Bun's dead. The Bun Bun is dead right now. I still have, like, everything. My base was close to dying, but that was just, like, the mods were very annoying. Also, did you know there is literally a bear that has less health than a hippo? An unbuffed hippo? 
That bear's name is Assassin Bear. He's the black bear, and he's extremely fast. He only has 550 health. 550 health. And that is, like, nothing. That is honestly, like... He's usually a cat cannon killer. Like, say he just came out, I just fire the cat cannon, and he'd be dead. Once you get rid of the bun bun and the moths, it's literally, it's literally a blank stage. That's funny, I got two feathers that time. Eh. Thick magma, this is an, a pretty easy stage. I'm just gonna put this on, just in case. Pretty sure that last stage was, like, the third appearance of JK. Uh, I might end the video soon, because I am... I am crushing this, except I'm, I wasn't crushing, <laughs> I was not crushing Bermuda. Boop, boop, boop. You're really just gonna die, aren't you? You're really just killing me. Alright, you know what? This is a very common strategy between pros. Uh, cyborg spam, cyborg stack. That's a bunch of Paris cats stacked up. Oh, by the way, this is second form Paris, third form Paris cat. Paris cat is second form, not, not anything else. These owls are weak. I feel like, yeah, this, this is probably the hardest enemy in it. Uh, probably the reindeer, but he's really easy anyway. Although he could get hard at times, he can one-shot things. Pretty sure this is the reindeer, as in benzene field reindeer. Maybe a little weaker, though. Boom. Bruh, your muscles thick. I actually never realized that you had giant muscles. You punch things so hard. I love it. I honestly just love it. After this stage, I'm probably going to end the vid. And then I'm going to record like a video right after this one. So if you're seeing this and the video hasn't been posted, it's because I posted it like three seconds ago. And I'm probably eating breakfast, which I have not done yet. I did not know there were two of those reindeers. Benzene Field Reindeer, by the way, is, like, ridiculously hard, and he's actually very deadly. I really don't like it. Okay, he made Savage Blow does way more damage. Does, like, a little more damage than Bahamut. You know, if this stage is difficult, then I might play it. Uh, whatever. I'll see. Oh, wait. This is three-star boar. Is this... Is this... Is this friendly? Oh, wait a minute. I, oh, no, this is just, this is honestly just bad. This is actually just bad. This is just bad news. I know what this is. I don't like it. I don't like it already. I'm pretty sure there are, this is like first stage where there are two boards. And this is three star mode. Three star, you hear that? Three stars. Oh, goodness. Three stars boar is gonna be like ridiculous. You know, boar's a cool enemy, but here he is. Oh goodness gracious! I'm a, I haven't even seen anything, and I'm already scared. He might be unbuffed, or I, I, I meant there might be only one, but that is like no way. Look, he kills everything, and I'm pretty sure there's a second one. So what do you expect me to do? Knock him back and it somehow dies in one hit from literally, like, nothing. Well, I'm pretty sure that's not going to happen. Yup. Yup. There's my death. One more was hard enough. Two? Wow. Honestly, just wow. Kill one and you might be able to kill the other. And nobody's killing anything anymore. Nobody's... No cats are killing anything. The only thing killing is are the boars. Oh, my God. And I thought Gold, Gold Coast, two stars was hard, and Alcatraz. Oh my. Talk about killing Tusk. My goodness gracious, that is insane. Sometimes in stages like that, um, I'm, on, I'm probably just gonna, like, stop uh, playing Battle Cats. I'm just gonna show you, like, some stages, such as um, the Stories of Legends stage I'm stuck on right now, Government Watchdog. Um, by the way, Poodles are insane in that. All of them are buffed. Uh, 
So first, let's go to the wiki, and I'm going to show you some stages that have bosses as extremely weak enemies. Alright, so I'm heading to the wiki right now. Um, oh, also, uh, I'm, I hit 10 subs. Thank you so much. It may not seem like much. It may seem like complete garbage. But I, honest, my dream was to be a YouTuber since I was like 7 years old. And, well, now I am. But not much. What? No. Over here. Not over there. I'm sorry you had to see that. Get out. Right, over here is where I wanted to go. So, um, what you want to do to find what's in a stage, you go to the Legend Stages option right here. Oh, also, I do play Roblox. And if you want me to make another Roblox video, it might not be as good as any of the other videos I'm posting right now. Not because it's Battle Cats, but it, because it's like... Or you can either vote for me to play on my PC or me and the camera be a little bad or me playing on the on my uh, my tablet, which I'm playing on right now to show you. Government Watchdog is the second to last stage. Some stages have things like this. They can't just make the boss wave. I'm pretty sure, um, so you know what they do? This is what it has in it. Kelaboodle, that, that percentage right there, that is, um, that is, like, 16 times as hard. If you see something 100%, like, that, see, the boss is easy because it, like, the boss is just easy. The boss is just, like, Sometimes they do that, since, like, there's a ton of other stuff, such as those Mistress Kelaboodles. Miss Sign is in there, probably if you take too long. Although some stages that are, like, that I want to see, I'm going to show you a, a couple stages that I want to see, or some enemies that I really want to find, but I can't find them because I'm nowhere near it. Um... There are a bunch of enemies, or at least, I'm gonna do, like, a noob to noob and pro, like, stories of legend guide, I guess. So, the first one, you meet Metal Hippo, St. Piggy the Second, and Doge Dark, um, in the Legend Begins, Passion Land, you meet Master A in the final stage back there, he's in, he's a little hard. This stage, you meet Kellaboodle, which is the poodle, uh, it actually does... Uh, an okay amount of damage, and Dagshund, which is a thin dog. Dutch and the Sloth, the duck is easy. Um, go, let me back up. The Sloth actually could be quite difficult. I beat him four star mode, but it was actually quite difficult. Five, Otta Smack You and Shy Boy sto join Stories of Legend, and the Face join Stories of Legend. Um, JK Bun Bun is like, it's another, it's, it's a red Bun Bun, and it's quite difficult, but it's quite easy at the same time. Seven, Sea of Tuna, they purposely misspelled boar, it's supposed to be spelled B-O-A-R, they spelled it B-O-R-E. Uh, sea of Tuna, surprisingly, the enemy comes like, Halfway through, instead of, like, the last stage. Cave Filet, I'm pretty sure that's where, uh, Nyan, Nyandum or Teacher Bun, Dark Emperor Nyandum or Teacher Bun Bun joins Story of the Legend. Frontier Spirit, uh, it has the, it has a bunch of stuff, a bunch of reindeer. Uh, Shadow Boxer K is a black kangaroo. Squishy Cave introduces Gory Black, surprisingly easier than Shadowboxer K, but found later. You meet Gory Black, Owlbrow, and Camel. Owlbrow is an owl who does a big amount of damage. Cory is a koala, um, found in Flame Caldera. 
every cat story is completely just nothing, and then there's also nothing, and then Director Kurosawa is in the last stage. He is a black nine. The scratching post has nothing. Fifteen has metal one horn, which is a metal rhinoceros, and a bun bun black, which is a black variant of Teacher Bun Bun. Low Tide Beach introduces H Na Hyena in Star Ocean. It was actually very difficult, and I never thought I'd beat it. It's an expert stage, and I'm on deadly stages now. But still, that stage is insane when you first meet it. You want to watch out for the Doge Darks. They get spammed. Uh, there is Alcatraz. Our Ost is um, an ostrich. Actually, extremely annoying. Dober PD is a slightly annoying shockwave enemy. You might want to watch out. Sir Metal Seal and Uran Wolf. Sir Metal Seal is very annoying, but I can now deal with him. Uh, Uran Wolf, if you get... Run, you can start doing stories of legend. I mean, enigma stages. Uh, this introduces three new enemies Gabriel, Heavenly Hippo, and Angelic Glory. Pigpen Taboo is actually extremely like it, it's easy for me, but it could be actually quite difficult. There are three Dobers. In 20, they introduce Ginger Snake, which is a red variant of s the snake that you meet in Chapter 1. Uh, Wall Doge, it is another variant of Doge, a little more difficult. Uh, Sunfish Jones, which is a fish that's actually quite difficult. And Super Metal Hippo, which is actually a quite... You, you meet him in the second stage. He's kind of difficult. He's kind of easy. Um, Pigeon de Sable is a shockwave pigeon. He's mostly used as support. Dark Otter, this is also where they start putting in deadly stages. Dark Otter is a black variant of Otter Smack You. Angelic Sleipner, the only of its kind, actually. Same with Pigeon de Sable. Uh, Underground is definitely the hardest has three bun buns in it. Trolley Blogger is a variant of those guys. Extremely annoying support. Sometimes helpful when one of your attackers are about to get killed. And then he uses his knockback effect to, like, punch them back. Metal Doge, truly, like, my my nightmare. He's, a no he's an annoying support on me. Lenore is a black variant of the boy, a.k.a. the elephant. Um, yeah. He is actually quite annoying. He's in stage 3. Enemy counterpart of Little and Nyandum is in St. Red Fox. He is possible to unlock. And then you could get superior in Enigma stages, I think. Chick-fil-A is the only of its kind, excluding events. Um, it is quite annoying. Or It's a quite easy enemy, although it has a freeze effect and does a massive amount of damage. Scars of War has Into the Future things. It has Stories of Legends, uh, Aliens First Appearances. Valkyrie Plains has, like, way too many dogs. There are all dogs, and the, the hardest thing in it is Metal Doge, like, way harder. Minefield, uh, it has Master A, uh, Helmet Krabby, Hypo, Master A, and Chick-fil A. That, it just has two otters, a Miss Sign, an Assassin Bear, and a Sloth, maybe something else. Muddy Trench, I forget what's in there. Sniper Jungle, there's a very difficult JK Bun Bun and a bunch of other floating enemies. Father's Back is like... Father's Back, I th I'm pretty sure it is Sunfish Jones and Elizabeth the Eleventh. Uh, Elizabeth the 11th is a variant of of the pig. Uh, it, it, it has a slight shockwave. And then winning back, it has boar and it has a Nimoy boar. Sea polluter has Cappy, which is, uh, an, an enemy that, like, it's quite high damage. Oil platform has Cappy as one of two bosses. The three Cappies. 
Uh, Brolo is extremely annoying. He does, like, way too much damage, and he's extremely fast and berserkery at that last stage. Benzene Field is extremely difficult. Littering Co- or Ancient Trial has a alien knight in a minute. Body and Soul introduces two new, one new enemy from, er, actually none of these are new. Uh, Mr. Mole is a variant of a, of moles. There are actually two moles. Uh, I can show you the other one, uh, after, like, a little bit. And, well, this, honestly, Cyberface, it's the only time where you meet him, I think. Now, I'm going to show you the other mole. Uh, the other mole is actually easier than... This is actually technically the movie. This is pretty much Battle Cats the movie. Although I might make an even longer one. Or the... Uh, when I get, like, more popular. Oh, also, 10 subscribers special is in is in this video if you somehow made it this far. Um, I, ha I actually have a sister. And, well, maybe when I get a little more popular... Uh, I can, wait, not here, I can actually show you guys, um, I can actually help, I could actually play Roblox with her. So, this mole is found in Cats of the Cosmos, um, I'm going to try one of the stages, uh, in a second. Back, alright, also, um, I might actually be able to play... Um, Among Us with my sister. I forgot to say that. Um, uh, looking for a, a good stage right here. Special, rare, and super rare. This is what I use for that. Special, rare, super rare. There are only two enemies at the Solar, Corporal, Wayland. Uh, I go in here, it's quite easy. Or at least just start. It, the star, it summons that thing, and that thing. I only can have one meat shield right now, because I really just, I, I felt like it. That guy has a slight, like, error in range. He can one-shot some things. Other things, he can't. Obviously. Alright, this stage is actually quite difficult. So first you want to break them, the mole's barriers. There are two moles and one elephant. So what you'll want to do now is once you've broken at least one of the mole's barriers, you want to summon him. If you have... Well, actually, you have to have him if you're in Cats of the Cosmos. It's pretty much illegal to not... The moles could actually start being a very annoying backline hit. Like right there, he that could be a, an extremely annoying thing. Look, it, it killed it kills everything. It honestly is just ridiculous. So what you'll want to do if you're stuck in this situation is honestly just try to kill a mole. Once one dies, and that's a good thing. That's a very good thing, obviously. So this mole is quite difficult, but it's easier than the normal one. Surprisingly. Oops. It is surprisingly actually easier than the normal mole. The normal mole is hard, too, but both moles are annoying. I might die. I, I might actually die because of this. Like the Lissolar. Lissolar is that elephant's name. I'm pretty sure if it warps, it doesn't do anything. Well, the Lissolar, the Lissolar killed me because... Lissolar could be an annoying enemy, but he could also be quite easy at times. Um, I'll be right back after this ad I watch. Alright, back. Uh, this is the first stage where you actually meet this mole. There are other enemies in it, of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna get started on it, and after this stage, if I win or I screw up, then I'm gonna end the video, and, well, just... Yeah. 
The lemurs only have single attack, so against Gorvolo, they're some. They're quite. These lemurs alone are still slate hard. They deal a lot, a pretty good amount of damage, but at the same time, they they don't deal much anymore because I have treasures. I have anti-alien treasures. I have them treasures. So, um, as long as Gravolo doesn't die, I'm probably going to stay good for, uh, oh, well, apparently Gravolo decided to, to die. Okay, you know what? That was a bad time. I'm just going to try it one more time and then I'm out. Um... What I did wrong there is put Gravolo out. I should not have put him out. I should have saved up and put Miss, Mrs. Level, Mrs. I'm level 40 and, and nobody else is. I have actually a lot of cats that are at least level 40. Not Ubers, but that's my first. But I do have one Uber that is level 40. And I'm going to try to save up for her as long as these lemurs cooperate and don't murder everything in one hit. Which they currently are. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go, 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 come on. Come on, die. Okay, you know what? That 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 concludes today's video. Oh, goodbye, I'm sorry. Bye.